Hi, fifth grade artists. Today we are going to create a radial name design. You're going to use your name and create it into a radial design, kind of like what we did with the dream catchers. So uh, radial means it runs out from the center outward and basically comes the design comes out from a common center like spokes of the bike. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to hold our paper landscape, right? And remember we talked about the difference between portrait and landscape. We're gonna start out in the center and we're going to make six curved lines around our paper, okay? Center, we're gonna curve out one, turn your paper, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like a spiral, maybe like a peppermint candy. You can just pause this video at any time if you need to slow down. Um, so I'm going to also, now I'm going to start in between. So there's six sections. In every other section, I'm going to draw curved lines that kind of look like a rainbow. I'm going to start here and curve my lines to the edge as far as I can go out. I'm going to skip the next section and then the next one I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to curve my lines all the way to the edge. Oh, my marker is running out. I'm going to skip this section, and then in this last section, I'm going to do the same thing. Notice the lines are coming out from the same center point. OK, in the other three sections, you're going to write your name. Um, and you're going to fit your name from the bottom of the line to the top of the line. So I'm going to go with my last name, Maglio, and I'm going to start here. Notice how I'm going from the top of the line, or the bottom of the line to the top of the line with my letter. A is gonna go from the bottom to the top. And turn, I'm gonna do G, top to bottom, L, I, O. See that? I fit it all in from top to the bottom line. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. You could do your first name and then your last name. I'm just gonna go with Maglio for everyone. Top to the bottom. There's my O, whoops. And last one here. And top to bottom. This way it stretches in your whole entire section of your design, okay? And then from here, you can color it in, make it really creative. You can work with complementary colors. Remember, we talked about that on the color wheel. The color opposite itself on the color wheel is its complementary color. Please don't forget to send me a picture of your work. Thanks. Bye-bye.